Scorpio. Hi, Scorpio. It's Ray. Welcome back to my channel. Happy February, baby. I am finally here with your February 2024 reading. Um, shit, I can't even believe I'm doing these this late, but <clears throat> I'm almost finished. Um, Aquarius through Libra are recorded and uploaded or uploading, okay? Because actually, as I'm recording this, we're going Libra uploading as we speak. So, God bless. Today is Tuesday, February 13, 2024. I'm going to pray before I get into the downloads of your reading. Um, you should watch Leo's reading because when I did the Leo full moon reading, you and Leo had a synchronicity of 222 within the timestamp. February 22nd is this month. So I don't know what you have going on with a Leo placement, but it's very significant. Okay, let's pray. God, divine source, angels, ancestors, guides, universe, thank you for allowing me to guide all Scorpio placements on their February 2024 monthly reading. Thank you for allowing me to be a clear channel, clear vessel as I speak to them on what to expect as the month unfolds. God, please bless each and every heart and soul that taps into this energy whenever they choose to do so. Allow us all to be divinely guided and divinely led. No weapon formed against us shall prosper. Scorpio, no weapon formed against you shall prosper. For some of you, it may seem like everything is falling apart. And this is because, smoke alarm, this is because spirit is trying to shift you into a brand new life, a brand new beginning, a brand new perspective, a brand new way of being, just brand new. And I got that download because as I was setting up the camera, which is kind of quicker right now, God bless, but everything fell. Like the fucking stand fell, the batteries within the ring light fell out. I had to put in brand new batteries. Um, I had to shift the, the stand in a brand new way. So like things you may, you are experiencing an, an extreme lack of control in some form of your life. And this is because spirit is trying to invite in an extreme change. Okay. I hear spring, spring 212, um, yesterday, which was Monday. Um, I hear girl get comfortable. We're about to do some things you never did done before. So if you're a feminine uh, Scorpio placement, there could be a masculine energy approaching you sometime in February. That is something that's offering or wanting to give you something that you've never experienced or bit you've been gifted before. This could be very, very unusual for you. And I feel like you're close to self-sabotaging. So just be mindful of that. It's, it's kind of like... <clears throat> I hear uh, you don't know my struggles, so you can't feel my hustle. You don't know what I've been through. So you're really wanting to protect yourself, protect your heart, protect your, your, your mind, your assets, what you're building. But it's interesting because not only is spirit trying to shift you into a brand new life, you are also desiring creating and manifesting this and calling it in for yourself. But at the same time, you're holding on to things of the past. And this brand new beginning for you, Scorpio placements, is wiping the slate clean, which means nothing from the past can come. For instance, when it comes to like if you're moving your wardrobe, if if it's, if you haven't bought it in the last year, get rid, donate it, donate it. Um, if it's something that was given to you from someone that you don't fuck with no more, donate it. If it's something that really isn't isn't aiding your spiritual growth, your mental growth, your your physical growth, um, or your physical. Yeah, I just said physical growth. If it's not if, if it's not elevating you, it needs to go. Okay. If you are still I hear um ties to the past, family ties. Um, I'm getting dead as well. I need to clarify that before I advise because baby, I want you out here right now fucked up, okay? So three of swords, yeah. It's kind of like I hear someone can take care of themselves. You have three, both of these are in limbo energy. Can you see? They're both sideways facing each other. The four of swords and the three of swords. So we go back to the two of swords, you know, mental conflict. And then the five of swords. Fucking that's, that's when the mind and heart are not aligned. And this is wanting to move forward, but you keep looking back. Yeah, Wheel of Fortune is upright. Um... And what is this? The devil. 
and it's, it's interesting because it like fell in my arm before it fell on the ground and it's like spirit is trying to snatch it away but you keep holding on to it um as similar to virgo a, a virgo could be significant my nose is itching like shit um claire what's the advice spirit please and then look with this will of fortune you have leo at the head um but leo um you scorpio your opposite taurus and then aquarius and then we have the King of Pentacles. So I hear financial exhaustion. So you could probably be tired of spending the money, paying debts, just paying shit, and you just want to save. But you you don't, there's this lack of self-worth when it comes to building and forward movement. You're also being very, very conscious of not creating negative karma for yourself, which is respectable. Yeah, you would rather put in the work than run away from it. Close the cycle, complete the cycle, which is very commendable for you. But your ancestors have said you are at a point of excess and you've given too much. So the world, you need to stop giving to something. And then you have bold step forward over here, the further gate. So... It's kind of like, I feel like you sustained something. Yeah, King of Wands, the way he's sitting on his throne. There is some type of sustainability and stability that you provide. Um, whether this is just, you know, your presence, um, money, time, energy. There's something that you, there's an investment here. And you're trying to complete the investment again, which is extremely commendable. But I hear release, like just release. Anything else? No. But two of cups, you could still be, you know, supporting someone that you were once emotionally connected to because you feel guilty about saying fuck them. And I hear they made their bed, let them lay in it. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> I hear that child's not yours, which me personally, you know, children are completely innocent. That's how I feel. But there needs to be a judgment call because I'm getting you're making something your responsibility that is not. And you have made something your responsibility that was never your responsibility to begin with. So take that how it resonates. You know what this is and you know what judgment call you need to make. Okay. Uh, but let me clarify the debt and alleviating the past because that's what we were trying to clarify originally too many oh the tower something is shifting unexpectedly i hear a debt being wiped clean yeah the magician upright something's coming unexpectedly i hear a, a hack but yeah justice in reverse that could that's giving me hella hacking energy and ten of cups but it leads to your emotional fulfillment <clears throat> the justice system so when it comes to debt specifically something is changing as far as debt owed whatever this is you hold the power and the fool here i hear that's a bright idea hmm but I'm also getting sitting on information. Yeah, definitely sitting on information. Some of you could be getting a large sum of money for, from someone. A settlement. I see that too. But Page of Cups, Seahorse Family, Transformation, and uproot, Uprooting from the Home Life. Clarify this tower. But yeah, being uprooted, we're speaking of debt. Yeah, this is this is a sinking and not swimming situation that ends up and something has been extremely unjust, but something is about to turn in your favor unexpectedly. For some of you, it's kind of like <laughs> I hate the I despise the word broke, but it's like you're considered poor class and then you meet someone that's considered to be a part of the one percent feels like a cinderella story like i have a gift to offer you i can help you i don't know but for others of you clarify the two of cups but it kind of yeah i hear your big bright idea big i don't know 
So it's kind of like putting two minds together. Gemini energy can be involved. It doesn't have to be. But something, it's kind of, I was giving a message before about separating something when something needs to be brought together. But Empress is here, Taurus energy, your opposite. This is alchemizing, you're, yeah, alchemizing something that you've kept separate. I don't know how this is, but it's connected. Judgment is here. I hear the angels will confirm. But you need to fight for something. It's kind of like, I don't know if you're working. I don't know why we're so focused on dead right now. Hold on. Because from what I see with all of these fucking, it's too many cards to clarify for real, for real. But with the Queen of Wands, the Empress, this is um, attracting in your femininity versus your mascul masculinity. It's like will versus desire. But instead of, you know, that verses will separate them. And if you were to say will and desire, it combines them, you know? Yes, yeah, sunflower action. And then we have tree ancestry. So how how was how was the debt? What does Scorpio need to do? Abundance in reverse ancestors but you know cowrie shells used to be a form of it a, a form of money mirror reflection disco ball not I, clouded vision clouded perception i hear rest more to get the answers hold on let me clean this up and i'm gonna repull from the tarot Thirty four, forty two, twenty five, twenty. Oh. The mother, your mother, mother gave me this death. Scorpio clearing the Pisces season 12 minutes in. Your mother may give you some information on how to help you get out of something. How do they get out of that? It's a clear the cycle. Thank you. What's peeking out? The ripple effect. Part of something bigger. Details are taken care of. Yes, it's, it's something is happening. Let it go. Release the past. Forgive. Soften. Move forward. Um, here, frozen. Let it go. So you have stagnant waters. You're feeling stuck. A call for shifts, flow, and change. You have immerse yourself in reverse. Training, learning, new hobbies, passions. Yeah, there's something that you're a part of. This could be a part of the family dynamic. You could be helping someone in the family a mother figure, your mother, I don't know, your sister who's a mother, but again, a mother figure. And they're showing you something. With the reflection being here in mirror, it's kind of like, you know, having family and you just keep hearing them talk about what they have to pay for, how expensive something is. Like their speech is a lack of abundance with abundance being in reverse. And it's also a mere reflection because you could be like, you know, I'm rich, I'm wealthy, I'm abundant, I'm prosperous. But what they are speaking actively is what your subconscious is holding on to. That's that mirror. That's that reflection, right? So it's like instead of you, you know, it's kind of like if, if people aren't on the level that you desire to be on, you need to remove them. And for a lot of you, this is a part of your family tree. It's time to take action because wherever you are, it is stagnant. You're feeling stuck. There's a call for shifts. Again, spirit is trying to give you something brand new and it's kind of like the reason why you keep having to pay debt is because you keep staying connected to these energies that are so caught up in debt damn okay 14 minutes later temperance what came out 14 temperance thank you sagittarius energy could be significant but that's jupiter it's time for expansion yeah now we can move on that was beautiful thank you
frozen song has been heavy. Let it go. <laughs> Scorpio. Scorpio. Focus in reverse. Yeah, that's that stagnant water is energy. You're definitely unfocused. Um, I feel like you're being asked to get into your Taurus energy, bullseye momentum. You have adventures sideways. So um, you are, I, I hear you're being called to be a little bit more adventurous um, in your city, in your state. Abundance is looking at me and purification is looking at me. But um, being more adventurous, um, really, you know, going with the flow of nature. Like I see someone like bird watching and then the birds start flying and then the birds are, are taking you towards something and it's like, oh, instead of just thinking like, oh, the birds flew away, like the birds are guiding you somewhere. The birds are like a North Star. That's just an example. But it's kind of like, you know, the Gaia, Mother Earth wants to take you towards a new adventure, miracles. But it's kind of like, it's like, well, damn, you, I feel this energy. You really don't want to be the cause of someone else's trauma. You don't. You don't. And and you're getting so much grace because of this, right? You're really trying to help. You're really trying to just be a good person and not be the narrative of a dark ass Scorpio, right? But at the same time, it's I hear you sometimes you just gotta be the bad guy. We have enlightenment in reverse success upright truth in reverse there's a liar around you use a motherfucking liar oh hold on cheese louise oh. <sighs> okay so adventures upright success upright purity in reverse enlightenment in reverse someone doesn't i hear once you come clean or someone doesn't want to come clean about something that could help you and aid you towards success like someone has has some knowledge here but they're withholding it here withholding evidence as well no what the fuck is going on libra could be involved taurus could be involved clarify adventures for scorpio Heavy Taurus energy, commitment, higher learning, education. But I feel like there's this promise to yourself that you keep aiding and abetting. What the fuck? That you're, hold on, aiding and abetting is, is assisting. So... That's interesting. But there's a part of yourself, it's kind of like a broken promise, but I don't know. Clarify <laughs> adventures. This is very intricate. Mm. Success. I saw the Empress trying to come out. Success for Scorpio. Purity in reverse for Scorpio. Can't, mm. One more for enlightenment. Thank you. The Hierophant came out. So adventures in reverse. So you have Ace of Cups and the Hierophant in reverse. This is something that was once comfortable, once loving, once fulfilling, once adventurous, once spicy. It's dry as fuck. No, it's no longer adventurous. It's no longer spicy. It's no longer exciting. This could be a friendship, a partnership, a job, a life. This is also, you know, choosing to leave behind stability to go towards a more adventurous lifestyle. It's giving me nomad energy. But then with success over here in the jaguar, the jaguar is your spirit animal as well as the white wolf. But you have the six of pentacles in reverse. People, I hear too many people have their hand out. Too many people rely on your energy. There's just too much. Yeah, too much for one thing to deal with. Ace of pentacles here. And so spirit, yeah, I hear retract the investments. 
and it start this time to set your course clarify purity is being clarified by the sun in reverse um and then we have the six of cups here so i really do feel like your um spirit that leo energy yes now coming through two to two there is something um around this virgo full moon where you're really being asked to connect with your 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 inner child like self like your inner child is adventurous your inner child is focused on success your inner child is curious as to what next they're not fearful of what's next they're curious and their excitement you know gets them to that next level that next path they just want to try you know and if they fail they want to keep trying because they're so excited to accomplish it i do feel like the excitement is kind of dry and dull right now in your life and spirit is like you know really to bring to reignite that energy um Connect with hobbies that you used to do as a kid. Connect with energies that are fulfilling. Uh, connect with animals. I see a cat here and a rabbit here as well. But with enlightenment in reverse, you have the seven of swords in reverse. So you're really sick of the fucking past, okay? In nine of cups, you're really, really ready to say just fuck all them people, places and things. And you really just want to, you know, be out here and live. But there's this re um, reflection on age just progress, um, society, societal standards, things that really, you know, have no benefit of you, but they are assisting you in making these life-changing decisions and the assistance that they're providing is not of light. Whew. Yeah, five of cups here in the tower in reverse. So really it's time to save yourself, babe. Save yourself and don't be afraid to make the hard decisions. Spirit has, has, you know, is offering you this cup to stop. And they're saying it's okay. Anything else for Scorpio from this deck? Simplicity. I hear impossible. Nothing's impossible. But if you think that everything is impossible, but success and, and enlightenment so you're again whatever is being withheld is is going to be i hear expelled and revealed to you um and whatever it is it's i hear it's more so confirmation that you're doing the right thing confirmation maybe this reading is confirmation you feel like you need to pull back your energy metamorphosis and you're like what the fuck and i'm like yeah yeah confirmation yeah sad embrace in reverse and I feel like for some of you, just this message is providing, yeah, peace. It's per, it's alleviating the the stress. Yes, yeah, spirit of place for. Um, a lot of answers are coming to you in nature. Spend as much time outside as you can. I know it's cold. Bundle up and one ring circus. You need to get really prepared and comfortable with taking care of you. And especially if you have children. Yeah, your children are watching how you take care of you. And and if you do have children, it's not it's you're teaching them what you don't want them to learn, just so you're aware if you were unconscious to this. For some of you, it's like you're starting to see your children react react in your bad behavior ways and you're very disappointed, like what the fuck? It's okay. You can, honey, communicate with them, converse with them, okay? Let them know what's right and wrong and let them know that you're going to change together because they are watching you. Claire, now you have movement in reverse and listening upright. October 8th, a Libra could be significant. And goblins. I hear no new friends, no new friends, no, no new. But that's what you need. You are having a hard time trusting people right now. Clarify goblins for Scorpio. Ten of cups in reverse. Oh, this is a betrayal. They're fake flex. Clarify listening. I'm getting you're guided by the wrong person. Four of wands. Um, that's interesting. Oh, shit. You came out with movement. And then the high priestess. Some of you want to move forward with someone that is a high priestess. You know, they could be a tarot reader like myself. 
they could just be very spiritual very connected you know they could be an earth sign or just very connected to gaia they could be solo dolo you know there's a desire for commitment here and a desire to help here i, I hear assist assist but there's no forward movement here. These two people are looking in two different directions. One is looking ahead, one is looking away. And I feel like I mentioned before, like someone that you really like doesn't like you. That I think I mentioned that in the Leo All Sign. Six of Swords, yeah, moving on. It's kind of like, if you're trying to court someone, clarify this High Priestess, I just feel like the timing is off. Yeah, someone's mind is not, someone is, yeah, Ace of Cups, someone's mind is on their, their success, their wish fulfillment, family, but moving away, like someone, there's, this Six of Swords is looking at this Goblin's energy, like what's surrounding them is, I hear danger that they're trying to get out of. And it's like all they desire is this Ace of Cups. And you may desire to give them the Ace of Cups. But Ten of Cups in reverse, Wandering Circus Spirit is saying they have to do this alone. This is a lesson for themselves. Yes, yeah, Leo. <laughs> Strength in reverse. But the Fool. But you're also being asked not to put your life on hold for someone either. And in whole time while... It's like you're chasing love or chasing a particular person or feeling or dynamic. The same lessons that they're experiencing, spirit is taking you through too. So you need to be look at your own codependent ways as well. There's something about a solo mission. I hear Harriet started solo. Shut up, we really don't know. But Harriet started solo and then she brought the people. But with success and enlightenment, there is still hope. It's just timing is off. Scorpio, butterfly metamorphosis. There's a major change taking place for you in the month of February. Some of you, your birthday could be in November. You have endings in reverse. Clarify this, please. Ancestry in reverse. I don't like this. Someone wants to keep you in a cycle and you're trying to end the cycle. Yeah, like someone wants to keep you in this five of swords and you're like, fuck that. I want my ten of cups. Mm -hmm. Five of wands. There could be a lot of fighting within the family. A lot of discontentment. A lot of tension within the, the family tree. Nine of Wands or the extended family tree. Take it how it resonates. The dates are 9-11 as well as March 11th. February 9th is here as well. February 29th. Um, also because this is a leap month. Six of Pentacles. Someone someone knows that they're better off solo. Like one ring circus. Like everything around. This is toxicity. Yeah, the devil in reverse. Like justice upright. Someone is very gifted here and someone is moving away or they have moved away and people feel neglected, abandoned. Even some people are taking it so personal of feeling used and abused. And that's not even the truth. You're just you're following you're you're just you're following your Akashic path and other people aren't and they're just fucking haters. Yeah, you're going towards a wish fulfillment. You have it's like you are if you're not in this energy right now, yeah, the Empress reverse, Seven of Cups in reverse, you're coming out of confusion, you're coming out of being stuck, things are really about to move towards your favor, you're about to receive more money, but you're cutting off a lot of fucking people, which is, it's, it's a necessity to cut off a lot of people, it's very, very crucial to this next path of your life, because this next path, whether you're feminine or masculine, it's Empress for you, it's very abundant, it's very fruitful, okay, it's that energy of, you know, what you touch turns to gold, but this comes after leaving everything behind like every, the collective is getting the same fucking message and receiving your wish fulfillment okay however there are people that know 
honey without you they are lost without you they are unstable without you they don't know life okay and it's time for them to experience it with yeah <sighs> period yeah you're you're if honey if you have if you don't feel like you're good you're about to be good but this this endings and this ancestry it's like you keep making a decision but you keep folding on your decision i hear stop folding stop folding because it's affecting your money like it's kind of like talk, you know what i'm noticing as a theme a lot of people are realizing how much weight that they carry solo dolo and how this is affecting them financially and mentally and and there's i hear there people are calling truces with themselves and calling truces with themselves is is creating endings in other areas and people are holding on for their fucking life like god bless life exists outside of you scorpio i mean you're the shit obviously based on how these people are reacting to you living your dreams live your dreams it's not as what does it say the last dance like no please don't go compassion here it's it's time everyone's been getting that energy it's time like pisces season is closing these cycles once and for all before we start this first house energy in spring and aries some of you have our scorpio rising we almost said scorpio first house so we have four uh fourth or you could be the fourth like god bless you know how they have the juniors the thirds the fourth you could be a fourth uh, you have a major Sagittarius placement as well, but Drifter, experiencing life as it comes, going with the flow. It's like you make a decision and someone needs you, then you fold. That fold is a test. I hear you need to start rejecting the help that you provide, okay? You have connectivity in reverse. And these people, they really, you don't feel connected to them. You You don't resonate with them. You don't feel like, you know, this is this is right anymore this is aligned anymore you more so feel like bitch you're really fucking annoying i'm just now realizing how annoying your energy is and instead of you being my peace you are my chaos and because you are my chaos i have to eliminate you yeah the authentic self in reverse this is this no longer feels good it no longer feels divinely connected okay it feels like a fucking trap yeah and for with protecting the future in reverse this this energy is not safe for you in the future like this is this is someone dismantling your kingdom from the inside. This is a fucking mole, okay? You got a mole in your circle, okay? And you got a pocket watcher. So you have magician, sword, uh, confidence in your magic, reconciliations in reverse. And you have feast of plenty, choices and their consequences in reverse. You, you're realizing cause and effect the domino effect okay if i make this choice to entertain this person when i do this this is what the fuck happens okay when i reconcile with this person this is what the fuck happens okay so it's kind of like you're starting to really realize the pattern and you're realizing like how much control confidence in your magic that you have over the people places and the things and how things unfold like you do have control over the domino effect and that's power within itself yeah we're good There is a, a huge source of inspiration around you or coming towards you in February. Someone that just makes you want to be the best that you can be and really has you evaluating yourself and, you know, how you respond. You have dust devil in reverse, moving out of stagnation, gestation period in reverse, falling, spiritual narcolepsy. Yeah, this is like the drifter energy. This is very, this is a warning, Scorpio. You need to be very clear and stand on that. You need to stand on business. It is life or death for you. Mentally and then physically, life or death for you. You need to stand on your decisions. You need to stop stagnating shit. Stop pushing back dates. Stop pushing back commitments. Once you stop folding on your decisions, 
Yes, stranger, curiosity, and tap in with that inner child and start exploring, okay? Start exploring how valuable and resourceful that you are. And you also need to, to reflect on your um, own traumas of of attachment and abandonment because it's it's very loud. Um, anything else with this? Yeah, fools and embrace transmuting pain. That's at 22 energy. Um, and then you have 42 preparations come to fruition in reverse. So with transmuting pain, upright and spiritual narcolepsy, falling angel, this is rebell rebellion gone wrong. Okay? Rebellion gone wrong. But rebellion gone wrong is you make a decision to stop. That's the rebellion. And then you say, no, I was being a little harsh. I was just doing too much. I was in my feelings. I was really triggered. And then you fold. That's rebellion gone wrong. So <laughs> crown game is the right use of power. Stand on that. Eight in 2024. Stand on that. <sighs> And now preparations come to fruition upright once you stand on that. I love this. Thank you. Let's look at the moons. Aquarius, new moon for Aquarius, new moon, new moon, and Aquarius bring love into the situation. The situation is you. That that folding and, and reconciling, that's to them. No, because every time you do that, you hurt yourself. You hurt yourself before you allow others to hurt you. Aquarius, no one energy for Scorpio placements. That's a lot, spirit. Believe in the impossible blue moon. We have a blue moon in Leo season in August this year. But I'm going to put all this up. I just want one. Aquarius, no moon for Scorpio placements, please. Thank you. So I got two cards. Keep those two. No one in Aquarius still on the bottom. Bring love into the situation. Oh shit. Virgo full moon for Scorpio. Surrender to the divine. Emotions are running high. Full moon, super moon. Um, you should watch. Uh, there's a major ending coming. Watch your opposite Taurus is reading. That's not supposed to be in here. Ooh, Virgo can be involved. The hermit. That card was not supposed to be in here. You still have new moon and Aquarius on the bottom. Bring love into the situation. You have work through your fears, new moon and Scorpio. Your energy. And you also have full moon and eclipse. Conclusions are within reach. So with this um, Aquarius new moon that we... Um, today is the 13th. The new moon was on the 9th. Yeah, we have the new moon, the lunar new year, and the Super Bowl. So the ninth, um, the luck is on your side in reverse, uh, Jupiter energy. So this is um, a lack of fruitfulness. Um, that preparations comes to fruition card in reverse. But um, the reason, okay, so you're feeling unfavored by the divine, unfavored by Mother Earth. And the reason why you're feeling unfavored is because your fears are, are being brought to the surface. And instead of you running and avoiding them, Spirit is saying face, face them. And with facing them, you know, you always save other people, but how do you save yourself? You haven't been saving yourself, and a fear is saving yourself, because once you save yourself, you really have to say, fuck everybody else. And that's a fear of yours, saying, fuck everybody else, and who's going to be there for you? But let me ask you, who's there for you right now? Conclusions are within reach once this is realized, and once you make the decision to cut people off, stand, stand on business, Okay. Now, with this Virgo full moon, surrender to the divine. Emotions are running high. Let's see why. I feel like it's a it's a major ending. Abundance. Yeah, you're moving towards abundance. But, oh, shit. Sounds like one of my phones are ringing. Don't know where they are at the moment. Um, But tree, ancestry. I hear saying goodbye. Like you're surrendering to the divine. I hear the divine says go. You're going. And there's a lot of emotions. Feels like a funeral. Yeah. Water surrender. Double surrender. And then we have rainbow. Hope. Six. Alignment. 
And the 24th um, is the Virgo full moon that's six alignment. Clarify emotions are running high for Scorpio placements. Someone could be, um, your birthday could add to, um, could be a life path six or a life path three or a life path four. Heavy energy on life path six. But um, clarify this surrender energy for Scorpio spirit. Eight of Pentacles, how something is going to work out materially. I hear is that for some of you, this is an approval. Instead of trying to be the, a mediator and problem solve, give it over to the divine. I hear have no opinion. September 2nd, that date could mean something to you. The temperance. It's going back to the Aquarius new moon. The angels are showing these moons, the angels with the Aquarius um, new moon and the Virgo full moon. The angels are showing you everyone that really is hurting you versus helping you. And this is heartbreaking within itself. And it's the people that you love the most that you that have shown you who they are, but you're just now starting to believe them. You keep hope alive. Yeah, rainbow hope. You keep hope alive. And you're and with keeping hope alive and keep trying to work something out, you're trying that's controlling the situation versus surrendering the situation. And you're not allowing people to go through their own tower moment to really sh uh, shape shift and transform. So I hear pour yeah, pour the love out of others into yourself. Hmm. Mm -mm, mm -mm. Mm -hmm. The magician. Wednesdays will be significant. Gemini season will be too. The month of June is significant. Smoke alarm. Let's see what's happening in June. Let's just sneak peek. June for Scorpio placements. June 2024. June 8th specifically. Could circle that day, but June 2024. Patience. You have yield, some surrender, submission, endings in reverse again. Whatever you're releasing right now, it's going to be retested in Gemini season. The next three months. Yeah, not relationships. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Someone's it's like if you're if you're ending something right now, someone doesn't believe it's permanent. They think it's temporary, but there's going to be a realization that happens um, between June and August. Where people are really going to know what the fuck is up for some Libra season. No, Virgo, Virgo season. Sorry, Virgo, Virgo. Yeah, yeah. A journey. It's time to take a new journey. You could be seeing nine nine nine. <clears throat> clarify the journey but your next path yeah you have a lot of distractions that are blocking you purposefully like purposefully people's inner demons are working overtime right now because they need you like what energy are they going to feed off of once you go and that's sad as fuck anything else for Scorpio in this deck I have one more no You need to do a gut cleanse. Scorpio, I saw metamorphosis. Yeah, embrace transformation. Things are now different. Anything else for Scorpio placements? Yeah, a lot of healing. Spend as much time at the water. Find a sacred body of water near you and go there. Gentle force, consistency, persistence, patience, the long game. You've been patient. And the water oracle, psychic abilities, acting on visions, it's destined. 
you know where you're supposed to go embrace the transformation and go you've been waiting a very long time to start this new life so it's either just begun or it's about to begin and you are spirit is saying handle it like a uh, like, like a child like a newborn okay be excited about what's to come yeah and what's to come? The sweet waters. We have, this is beautiful. Sensuality, romance, enjoyment, fertility, balance. That's what's to come, babe. Four, four, four. You could be singing that. Final messages for Scorpio. Final messages for Scorpio. The light of the world. Again, when you dismantle and remove your energy, what, what are they going to feed off of? You are you are too many people supply. I hear supply and demand. I hear <laughs> I hear remove the supply and demand and now it's time for a drought. Okay, create the drought. Give them a fucking drought. Two worlds in reverse. Yeah, you're tired of playing both sides. You're tired of cold switching like you're tired. And because you are tired, you're eliminating that shit. The Oracle of Delphi scorpio if you are a reader of any sort or if you are your gifts are elevating like shit okay i do feel like the the masses are about to be flocking if they haven't already um archangel Raphael is in reverse and paths unknown so hold on and then the queen of roses views okay clarify archangel Raphael in reverse there's a lesson here you have 8-8 eight, eight here as well. Reflect back to the 8-8 eight, eight portal 2023. Clarifying Archangel Raphael is the way. You've been calling. Some of you may have been. You may work with Raphael. Or you just may have been calling on the angels. For assistance. Because War of the Roses is in reverse. But I hear they've already eliminated the battle. You just have to stand on your decision. And with Paths Unknown. It's like you keep thinking about it. When it's already been confirmed. Yeah, and now it's time to play chess and not checkers. The light of the world came out again. It's time for you to expand your territory. It's time for the world to know who you are, Scorpio. The Akashic Library, the number two, it's time to... I hear we're deleting old records and adding brand new records. I hear brand new tracks. Some of you could be artists. But summer, winter, intricacies in the industry, when it comes to business, something is changing between May and... um. December. What's Queen of Keys? The Architect. Ooh, and the Lookout. You're going to receive some type of major recognition either summer 2024 or between May and December. There's going to be some form of recognition. Yeah, the Buddha prepares. You see these people are following behind Buddha. Like you are, you're ascending to the throne. You have now, you are now watching the throne. Don't let me get in my zone. And you're about to get in your zone and be on your motherfucking throne. Anything else? I love this. And you're about to see just how powerful you are. That's it. That is it. I hear that's all folks. Bugs Bunny. I split the deck to commitment and... Libra ended with commitment, I believe. So yeah, commit to the journey. Commit to the decisions that you made. Stop folding. Now let's play chess. Checkmate, motherfucker. I love you. Like, comment, subscribe, share. Bye.